here we go again. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click that like button, click the notification bell, whatever that is. I hear all these pro YouTubers saying that. I have no idea what a notification bell is, but I hear them saying it, so I guess that's what I'm supposed to be saying. But check this one out. This is an ESP LTD Page Hamilton Horizon reissue. And uh, this guitar is kind of a, a cheaper, more affordable version of Page's number one guitar that he has played for 30, 40 years, I guess. Uh, you know, he's the, the singer and guitar player for the band Helmet. And uh, they are just a legendary band. And this guitar is made to look like his guitar that has been toured and beat up forever and customized by him. What's cool about this guitar is um, they, they made these in 2009 for a year. Then they stopped making them. This guitar in particular is... A reissue that they did a couple years ago and Paige sold like he got these guitars from ESP and he sold them directly from him on his website and there were like 20 or 30 of them I don't remember the exact number so this is the version that was made just a couple years ago and it's a lot better quality than the one they made in 2009. Really, really awesome. The lighting in this room is not doing this guitar any favors. This is actually a magenta color. It's almost like a dark metallic pink. And uh, But this lighting in here is, is, is making this guitar look kind of red looking. But it's actually almost a, a, like a fingernail pink color. Um, so... Let's get down to the, uh, the specs on the guitar. It has got Paige's uh, signature model pickup, even though they don't put his name on it. It's a pickup that they invented for him called the Air Zone. Sounds kind of similar to a Tone Zone um, with a lot more kind of bass and a lot more thump to it. And it really has a voice of its own. Uh, when he designed this pickup with uh, the guys at DiMarzio, he used a, like a parametric EQ to dial in certain frequencies. And he's like, okay, I need a little more of this. I need a little less of that. And uh, that's what they came up with. So uh, it's just a really different sounding pickup. Um, he, you know, Paige Hamilton's kind of like me. He's not a fan of neck pickups, and he normally just takes them out of the guitar. I've got a couple guitars where uh, the, the original volume knobs are either filled in or just have holes there, or they have plugs in them. So he took the volume knob and moved it over here. And one of his techs, one night, I guess, just kind of as a joke, took a pickup, excuse me, a uh, tremolo spring and stuck it in the neck position as a joke. Uh, it's not really funny, but it, <laughs> he kept it there. So this model guitar has the exact same tremolo spring stuck in the front of it. Um, and as you can see, it's got all the damage on it. Uh, it is a neck through guitar. It's got a really beefy neck to it. These were made in Korea, and this is just the finest stuff that the Korean guys can make, man. I, I love Korean-made guitars, and there's one factory in particular over there that makes the really, really nice stuff, and that's where this is made. And I mean, the Relic job is just really, really awesome. You can kind of see that pink in that, in that part of the video right there. Um, but yeah, it's got a really awesome Relic job. And on his original guitar, he smashed it one night at a club and, and you know, knocked it into a, uh, a monitor. Uh, and his, his guitar, not only is it missing all this paint here, but it's got like a hole in the bottom of it. It's got, you know, wooden dowels through it that, that are holding it together. It was repaired and put back together. And, you know, this guitar is kind of made to mimic that guitar. And it's a really, really great quality guitar for the money. 
I think these guitars, uh, when they did the reissue a couple years ago and they made, the, you know, the 20 or 30, they were like two grand. I mean, they're, they're not cheap guitars by any means. Uh, it comes with a really awesome top of the line ESP case. Uh, inside that case, uh, there is a um, signed letter of authenticity from Paige himself. Um, and the other cool thing is it's got a, you know, a, uh, cover on the back here, but they took one of these and had Paige sign it and put it inside the, uh, the case in case you wanted to swap those out and have an autographed guitar. Uh, you can just swap out that back cover and it's autographed. Uh, I just left it in the case. I don't want anything to happen to it. This is a guitar that I've been looking for for a long time and I actually talked to Paige Right after they first came out, they sold out really quick, and uh, he was hoping to get to do it again or make some more. They never did, so they were gone. So there's only like 20 or 30 of these floating around, so finding one is about impossible. And I just lucked up and found one um, that got traded in or sold to Guitar Center not too long ago and absolutely got a fantastic deal on this guitar that I have been trying to hunt down forever. And... Uh, I'm not a huge helmet fan. I know a couple of the songs. I've never seen them live. I've got an unbelievable amount of respect for Paige. And I've got an unbelievable amount of respect for this guitar. Because I have a, a huge amount of respect for people who have played one guitar for like 30 years. Like Nuno playing an N4. Or George Lynch playing a Kamikaze. You know, these people that they don't bounce around. You know, they, they find what is comfortable and works for them and they stick to it. So I've always loved this guitar and loved the story behind it. Uh, make sure you check out Paige's video on this guitar because he goes into detail and shows some close-up pictures of the damage on the bottom right here on his original guitar. But yeah, this is just a an awesome playing sounding guitar and it's got the funny spring inside of it, which... Um, uh, you know, it's different. No fret markers other than on the side. And it is a, a, uh, a horizon. Uh, you know, he, he, uh, went to ESP, uh, when they first opened down off of 48th street and played a bunch of guitars. And he thought this pink outer space looking guitar was very punk rock for what they were doing. And he bought one, uh, at some kind of artist pricing. And has it has stuck with him for you know many decades. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see you next time.